Now there's a plump bird. I'm going to sit next to you. Like and the chicken. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Thank you so much for all the amazing work you do. I know the two mothers in my life, my own mum and my wife, do a wonderful job and have done a wonderful job for many, many years. Here's a picture of me and my mum. And another one. There you go, that's all that you're gonna get on that today. Um, didn't film the kids making, well, me, well, I made KG breakfast in bed, but the kids helped me carry it up the stairs. That's the important thing. But she was, wouldn't let me film any of that, because apparently she was not in a fit state to be on camera. Like all men, well, like a lot of men this morning, I was very grateful to the schedules of F1. So thank you. I know it's probably Bernie back in the day, but it was quite nice to have a Grand Prix to get up and watch on a Sunday morning. Although the result was disappointing for Lewis Hamilton, well done for getting a mother's, you know, giving us an excuse to get up and uh, earn some brownie points. Let's not say that too loudly so Katie doesn't think I got up with the kids just for the sake of it. I am just uh, finishing putting the final edit, I hope will be the final edit before it goes uh, to get colour graded, of this very special video that I am going to release this time next week. Well actually it's going to be early Sunday morning next week. It's a video about a First World War soldier, one of over half a million who have no known grave. I think it's a good story. I've worked really hard at this video for the last four or five months. I hope you'll enjoy it. I'm not going to say much more on that because it'll spoil the surprise of the video, but please do tune in and please share it next week um, to honor the memory. A hundred years ago, we're coming up to the hundredth anniversary of the Battle of Arras, which was a major British offensive in 1917, where the British lost they think it was equivalent to 4,000 men a day, and if you think about the defining battle, sorry, the defining awful moment of this generation, it's 9-11, which was close to 3,000 people on that horrible day, and you're thinking of 4,000 men every single day being killed in these battles. Anyway, I am going to go and prep Sunday lunch now, because I'm cooking it, as I usually do, and then we're going to head out this afternoon. So I don't know how interesting this vlog's going to be for you, the rest of you today. I'll see if I can find an angle on it for you, but we'll uh, we'll just see where we go. Um, I gave her some jewellery and a card. <gasps> and some croissant. And a croissant. Got breakfast in bed and Prosecco, which is not a Prosecco yet. Special gravy. Okay, can I have it? Oh, nice. I love yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you a bit of that in a minute. Mm. I'm going to sit next to Amy. Now there's a plump bird. I'm going to sit next to you, Amy. And the chicken. Um, sorry. <laughs> then we're going to see if the drone helps. Are you going to count? Is Amy going to hide though? Right, should we use the drone to find her? I really love today, every year. And what I mean by that, the clocks have gone forward. I don't mind losing that hour's sleep if it gives me an hour longer in the evening. By the way, I keep wearing similar jumpers all the time. I hope you realise I do wash them every now and again. Um, I put this jumper on because Charlie wanted to play football outside and it was getting a bit cold. But I just love the fact that the, the days are getting longer. Spring's coming, summer's coming. Yeah. Anyway, um, I wanted to just show you something I picked up in the music shop the other day. It's the title of the vlog. I don't know, maybe I need to do uh, Let me get it. It's the Jazz Labs Deflector, okay? There's a few other saxophone players who have done reviews or talks about it on their blogs recently. I got hold of it last week and I've not had a chance to really do a proper review. Um, I'm gonna have to find a screwdriver. 
there we go. The idea is you stick it onto the bell of your saxophone and the sound comes back at you. And we need to adjust this slightly. That looks right, maybe? Let's find out. <laughs> I really like it. Do you know what? I really, I didn't think I would do it. I don't know whether it looks stupid. I don't know if I'd ever use it on a gig, but I can actually hear myself. One of my little bad habits is over articulating at the start of phrases, a little explosion, and I really can hear it on this. I often hear it back on gig recordings I do, and so, do you know what I mean? I'm aware of it when I'm hearing myself doing that, but not often when I'm practicing, and certainly not to that extent. So, yeah, really interesting piece of kit. Um, uh, I was a little bit dubious when I saw a few people using them. I, I used to have, when I played in one of the soul bands in Ireland, I used to have, my mic had a, a plexiglass thing around it, so I could hear myself, because it was just so difficult to hear myself and the fallback and everything, and it was a, a really good idea. It's also, you know, quite good, obviously not into the bell of the saxophone, maybe that way around, the kind of singing into, sometimes you get a lot of back, that's what I used to use for the plex class, because sometimes I do some backing vocals. But, yeah, surprisingly, I like it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If this is one of your first times here and you're not already a subscriber, please do hit the subscribe button. It makes a huge difference to what I can offer you uh, as someone who comes to this channel. Q&A is going to come up this week and then there's going to be a little bit of silence because there's going to be a really important video coming out next week. I'm going to still vlog a little bit this week, so look out for a vlog. Hopefully on Tuesday, there'll definitely be one Thursday. Then there'll be a little bit of silence and then next Sunday morning I am giving you the video I was talking to you about before. Thank you very much for watching anyway, and it's good night.